Welcome everyone, in order to activate eSIM on your iPhone, the first step is you're going to open up the settings app. You're then going to find where it says mobile data and you're going to have two options. Either you will see set up mobile service or you will see add eSIM. Which one you see depends if you have a SIM card inserted, which is on the right or on the left, no SIM card is inserted. So if you tap either option, you'll be brought to the same view. So you'll see here set up mobile service so here's what's up we have transfer from a nearby iphone this is useful if you are upgrading to a new iphone and your old iphone has a sim card currently inserted which supports transferring into eSIM. yes you can transfer the physical sim card on your old iphone into eSIM in your new iphone or b if you already have eSIM set up on your old iphone you'll be able to transfer it to your new iphone so you tap on here, transfer from nearby iPhone, and you can see password protection must be required on the old iPhone. Bluetooth must be turned on on the old iPhone, and the old iPhone must be running iOS 16 or later. You also want to make sure that the iCloud account between both devices is the same. And then once you do that, you'll be greeted with this option right here, which will say set up eSIM. You will see transfer from another iPhone, then you'll see the old phone number which you can transfer uh, over as well now you also have the option to use qr code this is useful if you are unable to transfer the physical sim card from your old iphone into eSIM into your new iphone maybe your carrier doesn't support that for example in the uk <laughs> that feature is non-existent in the us it is quite existence or you have an eSIM qr code okay or you need to get eSIM so if you have a physical SIM card on your old iPhone, which you can't transfer to your new one, then you have two options. Either insert the physical SIM card. If you have the latest iPhone 14s and newer, then you will need to contact your carrier and you will need to ask them to convert your physical SIM card into eSIM or to order an eSIM card. Once that's ordered, it's going to be a QR code, okay? You just tap on use QR code and you need to scan the QR code you will see in this empty field okay so once you have done that you're going to be good to go and you will have eSIM fully set up if you have the option to enter in the details manually for your eSIM just tap on this one enter in these addresses if you have these information here that will be provided by your carrier you can enter them but for most people you just want to scan the QR code okay and if you want If you're wondering, an eSIM QR code should look. If you're wondering, an eSIM QR code should look something along the lines of this. With that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye bye.